for many people's back patios, they will have a handrail. Most of the time, they'll have a metal iron handrail. Sometimes they might have a wood handrail. I've got tons of pictures here to show um, how I install my roller shades when there are handrails. I personally like the handrails. It allows me to use the handrail as a backdrop to keep the uh, wind from really blowing the shade around too much. And whenever I do that, I put, especially if it's a metal handrail or metal or wood, I put these things here called bumpers, okay? Uh, these bumpers, they're made in USA bumpers. They're super strong, well-made, and I put them there because I don't want that metal going clink, 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 you know, hitting things. See here? There it is. That's a metal handrail post. And I don't want that rubber bumper going, or that metal hitting, so I use that rubber bumper so it doesn't go clink, clink when the wind blows it. Um, there you go. So whenever I install these rascals, I can put them on uh, the inside like I did here or the outside. But it really, really um, is up to how these things fall. So whenever they drop, are they going to drop in front or behind the handrail? That really is what determines where they're going to be. So it might be this handrail is installed a little farther in. So in this case, it would have dropped on the outside. But in this particular situation, uh, these handrails uh, were a situation where they are, so the roller shades fall on the inside. I remember putting this up here and uh, this handrail and this handrail, they didn't align. So when you look from this angle and look down, they didn't align. This guy here was cockeyed and this was cockeyed. So, uh, you know, we it all worked out just fine. Uh, but you can kind of tell there how they don't really align, right? They don't really meet up because this one was too far in and this is out. So they didn't really meet up perfectly. But the customer knew all that. He understood all that. And it was all cool. Oh, this is the same same installation. Um, you can see, uh, I don't know, I guess you can't really tell, but this one here is a little bit coming out this way, a little bit more. Yep, here we go. Here's some more handrails. How I put it up and it just came straight down just beautifully on the inside of that handrail. And with those rubber bumpers, that'll keep it from going clink, 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 clink. Here's another situation where we did it. I would have preferred this homeowner to have taken these roller shades and met in the middle, or maybe taken this one a little bit longer, something. Uh, and not have had that opening right there. I'm not really hip on when people do this, but you know, it's your home and you can do whatever you want. Here you go with a wood handrail. Uh, the roller shade went on the inside of that wood handrail. This particular one here, the roller shade dropped on the outside of the handrail. Had I tried to make it drop on the inside, I would have had to have reverse rolled the roller shade and it just would not have been very good. It's always best to have the roller shade roll down backwards. It's, it's, it's cleaner, it's easier to operate up and down. Um, it just, it makes for just a much better uh, installation. Here, that looks like that's the same installation there. There you go. So these guys here, they dropped on the other side of that handrail. And it's not a big deal. Whenever you tie them off down here in the bottom, you can easily reach through it. And I attach my hooks. Like I put a hook in that metal there, and I put a hook here in this wood post. There it's showing it again. See, it's, so it's really easy to unattach it, so it's not an issue. But imagine that metal right there in the bottom. Imagine that aluminum tapping that metal. Tink, tink. You'd hear it and it'd be annoying. So with those made-in-USA rubber bumpers, uh, that doesn't happen.